the SIM 800L is a GSM, GPRS only modem, GSM module. It can use a 2G SIM card or a 3G, 4G, or a 5G SIM cards provided that the network operators support backward compatibility to 2G. It will not work to other countries with no more support for 2G network. In this video, we will learn on how to use the SIM800L GSM module in MicroPython. First, we will cover the basics only and on the following videos, our application of using SMS, voice call, DTMF, and etc. Few months ago, I posted a video of SIM800L using Arduino and it's one of the top videos that I have. So I decided to create also for MicroPython. I hope you like it. I have here a SIM800L hooked up to ESP32 via dedicated serial pins of UART port 2. I connected SIM800L RX pin to ESP32 GPIO16 while the TX pin to GPIO17. SIM800L is powered through external 5 volts power supply through the commonly used 1N4001 diode in order to lower the voltage to approximately 4.3 volts. SIM800L should be powered with a power supply voltage of 3.4 to 4.4 volts. What I use here is like this. So, I don't know if it will. So, this is a DuPont wire. And at the end of the DuPont wire is a diode like this. And of course, all ground pins should be commonly grounded. After the SIM800L is powered up, it will blink every one second like this. When it is able to register and connect to a network, it will blink slower on about once every three seconds. Just like now. It will blink every three seconds. So this is our indicator that the SIM800L successfully connected to our network provider. Now for the software part, we will be applying our knowledge in using UART serial from the previous tutorial. SIM800L can be controlled by sending 80 commands using serial communication. We can refer to the SIMCOM datasheets for this tutorial, which is this one. So let's begin our program in MicroPython using a Tony Python IDE. So first, import the machine module. In order for us to access the ESP32 hardware peripherals like serial UART. Now let's create a UART object. Let's name it GSM using the machine that UART using the serial port 2 with 115,200 bits per second as baud rate. We will use other default parameters for the UART. Let's save this one to a computer. Let's name it T014 for tutorial 14. Example 01. Sim 800L underscore intro dot pi. Let's run it. And let's just use the repo to demonstrate other necessary 80 commands. To send a command to Sim 800L using the created UART serial object GSM, just type GSM dot write open parenthesis single quote and the 80 commands of our choice let's say 80 then to make it a valid 80 command 
add a carriage return using a backward slash R. Then, single quote and close parenthesis. Then, hit enter. 80, in 80 commands, is a shorthand abbreviation of attention, which I translated as, Hey, Sim at 100L, listen to me. I need you to do this following command for me. And the SIM 800L will usually replied with OK. Let's query it, gsm.read. And this is the reply, OK. And this is the echo of our command. 80, or attention, is the most basic 80 commands available. It is advisable to send this command first to check if the SIM800L is connected to our microcontroller. If it replies OK, then you can safely proceed with other 80 commands. There are actually a lot of 80 commands available, as you can see here. These are all 80 commands. But we will not go through this because this is a lot. And for the sake of simplicity, I will just cite some of the most commonly used 80 commands you might need somehow. Let's say, to check for the signal strength, you may use, let's use the gsm.write, 80 plus csq. Let's send this one and let's read it. The first number in the reply denotes the signal strength in decibels. Or we can get the list of available network operators using 80 plus cups equal to question mark hit enter. Let's give it some time in order for the SIM 800L to check other networks. So, let's read it. Or, we can determine the network operators the SIM 800L is currently registered using 80 plus CAPS without equal. Only question mark. Hit enter. And, Let's read the GSM reply. And it says it is connected to Globe Telecom. Or determine if the SIM 800L is currently connected using 80 plus CREG question mark. Like this. Hit enter. Let's read the reply of SIM 800L. The second digit will tell us if the SIM 800L is currently connected to a network operators. Number 1 means we are connected, while 0 means the SIM 800L is not connected. Or we can force it to connect using the 80 plus CREG equals 1. Let's check the reply of the SIM 800L first. And it says it changed the CREG to 1. So it forced the connection to a network. Or we can use it to query the current battery level using 80 plus CBC. CBC. Hit enter. Let's read. And as of now, it is 100%. This is because we are using an external power supply. And lastly, if you want to turn off the echo of commands, use ATE0. Use ATE0 to turn off the echo and ATE1 to turn on the echo. So let's turn it off. Let's read the reply. Okay. So, let's try to send 80 only. And let's check if it will send the echo of 80. Okay. 
Let's turn it on again. ATE1. Send. Let's read. And let's send AT. Let's read. And as you can see, if the echo is on, there is an echo in every reply of the SIM 800L. So that's all for now. I hope this tutorial helps you to get started playing with the SIM 800L in MicroPython. If you have any question regarding this tutorial, you may write your inquiry in the comment box provided. And if you enjoyed this video, please give me thumbs up by clicking the like button and share this to your friends so that it can reach more people who might benefit from this. And if you are not yet subscribed, subscribe now! You might also like to visit my blog post at tech2tinker.blogspot.com for more details and references such as circuit diagram and source code. Thank you and have a good days ahead. See you in the next video. Bye!